Pretty amped up. Tomorrow night it's the home opener for the Birmingham Stallions. Yep, but before that, there's a big celebration tonight for the two time defending USFL champions now entering the UFL. So some might call it a lucky charm. Head coach Skip Holtz joins us once again for his regular spot here on Good Day Alabama. Coach, good morning. Good day, Alabama. I'm doing great. How's everybody doing today? Doing, doing great. Great. The Stallions are back in good. town. Yeah. Well, that's what we are excited about. I mean, we have been here in Arlington and training and played two games and we're really excited to get back into Birmingham and excited to come in today and really looking forward to the celebration tonight to honor the 2023 football team for what they were able to accomplish going 10 and two during the season mm -hmm. and, and winning the championship for a second year in a row. And, and you're off to a two and zero start the new UFL. By the way, Russell Jones will be live a little bit later to give you a preview of what's happening tonight at Ghost Train at 5 p.m. But coach, uh, just talk about the start, uh, you know, starting off in this new UFL two and zero, and then coming home trying to you know keep that momentum going. Well, I think it's been it's definitely been an adventure. It's been new. It's been different. There's a lot of new faces on this roster, and you really don't know how a team is going to gel or how they're going to come together. But uh, really pleased we've been able to find a way to win our first two games, both of them on the road. And that's why we're so excited to have the chance to come to Birmingham. A lot of players, a lot of these new faces on this roster uh, haven't played in Protective Stadium yet. Mm -hmm. uh, so for many of us, it's a homecoming. Uh, really excited to come back, see the people in Birmingham, celebrate with them tonight. But most importantly, to go out there tomorrow and uh, really encourage everybody. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. Come on out. We would love to have your support tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. I mean, I think the fans are going to come out in droves tomorrow night to protect the stadium. The watch parties back here at Back 40 have been packed for both weekends. Coach, last Sunday's game was a thriller. It came down to the wire. What did you learn about your team in that victory? Well, I think when you look at the UFL, we've talked a lot about the balance of talent and the way that they dispersed the teams and drafted everybody. There's a lot of talent in this league, and so I think it's a very even uh, it's a very even league. Most of the scores are 27, 24, 20 to 18, 19, 20. I mean, there's a lot of mo the majority of these games are going to come down to the fourth quarter uh, at the end of the game. And what I've learned the most in the first two games is the way this team has handled adversity. Uh, we've come out in the second half and played strong in both games and been able to put up some points. And we had our offense played really strong the first week, and I thought our defense really came to play uh, last week. So really what I'm looking most forward to is being able to put a game together where we can put both offense, defense, and special teams and put the product on the field. And we just we need to keep getting better. We need to keep improving as the year goes on. And right now I love the way these guys are working towards that right now. Coach, uh, the, the level of play you, you touched on in this league, it's really been amped up a little bit. And so the, 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 the difference between winning and losing really seems to be something small. I don't want you to get too much of the minutia, but to, to explain to people how maybe even a lineman taking a wrong step, uh, a quarterback not reading protection, that's what makes the difference in winning and losing. Yeah, there's when you look at these games, they're like one play games. And I say one play and that you could change one play and it could change the outcome of the game. I mean, there was a team last week that was down 11 points with with one minute to go in the game and they ended up winning the game with some of the rules with three point tries, two point tries, fourth and 12 opportunities. Uh, the way the rules are, it really creates I and mean, it cre gives teams an opportunity that are behind. So you've got to play a 60 minute game, but it can be the difference in one play, whether that's a turnover, whether that's a big play. And so every play matters. And so I, I think it's been exciting. Uh, I think it's going to be a fun product to watch as it progresses through the season. But like I said, my biggest concern right now is making sure the Birmingham Stallions show up Saturday night at six o'clock ready to play a football game. But Really excited to have the chance to play back at Protective Stadium. And as Dorothy said, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. And there's no deal like a $10 ticket for some sections. So, Coach Holtz, I know you love our fans here in Birmingham. And everyone needs to go out there. The gates open at 430 for that kickoff. That's at 6. Coach, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate you all having me. Looking forward to it every Friday morning. Thank you all. All right. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up.